hey guys what's up welcome to my channel um i'm currently on my lunch break i just wanted to hop online and just say get a few things off my chest so firstly um i've been working a full-time job for over a year now um i've for years and years been working for myself um ups and downs of being an entrepreneur, self-employed, all of those things. I've Ubered, I've even danced at a club as well as, you know, did online camming. Um, if anybody has seen my shows or episodes that are no longer public just because I decided to give my life to Jesus and I vowed to live in the righteous way, um, you know, without sin as much as possible. Um, and glory to God for me being able to have this job and able to give me the same values. But um, you have to know that none of this is guaranteed. A job, a career, none of it is guaranteed i've recently seen about eight employees get fired at my job for various reasons and it really made me think like wow you know you really do have to have backup plans for everything you do and i believe that even as a christian uh devoted to jesus i can still do that i can still have my side hustles and extra things that I do to maintain. I'm a single mom, you know, I take care of my household. And to me, I feel like, you know, always give 100%, always do what you need to do until the end, but always have a backup plan because really nothing in this life but God is guaranteed, regardless of what you're doing. Um, but having that knowledge and having the Holy Spirit to know that you're always going to be protected, you're always going to have, you're always going to be provided for, then there's no need to worry. Um, I would say that after seeing so many people let go at my job, um, it did make me a little bit insecure. However, I've seen so much blessings in my life within just the past year of just me like doing what I'm supposed to in the eyes of God, dropping off all of my personal concerns and thinking that <clears throat> that I control everything. We have absolutely no control. If things are meant to end, they are meant to end and know that when a door shuts, another one opens. So I'm here to say that, you know, it's, it's an economic crisis. Everybody's struggling, um, you know, and... I feel for the people that lose their jobs, but I always know if that happened to me, and I've been fired multiple times at different places for various reasons, and I consider all of those times a blessing and a lesson because it showed me that, you know, one, no job is stability. No job is guaranteed. I love my job. I love the work environment. It's very relaxed. It's good to have stable income. However, I'm still focused on myself. At any moment, I, I could drop everything and just door dash and, you know, live my free, happy life. That's fine. Um, when those cards are dealt to me, if they're dealt to me, they will be. I love posting online. You know, I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, at some point more people will see my videos and be inspired because I've girl been through the trenches I've been through so many ups and downs I've been a single mother since my child was born and you know all of that like I could just see how much growth that I've been through and it on top of that past the whole job thing like my biggest stresses is if I'm even doing a good job as a mom you know like it's like, that's the one job where it's like, am I doing things right? Am I ever gonna be right? 
and that's when you really have to give it up to God. You really do. I, I have no control over anything. I have no control over what other people do, what other people think. That is all in God's hands. So honestly, this is just a word of encouragement. You know, if you're looking at hard times, don't worry, there's a path. There's people that have been through near-death experience, traumatic experiences, have been incarcerated, you know, and are still able to lift their lives back up. And honestly, that's with the help of God. No man can do that on their own. As much as you want to deny it, you cannot do it on your own. So if you're facing tribulations, it, I mean, really, like, if you look at the videos that I have now, it might seem that, you know, I got it all together. I don't. I do not. <laughs> I struggle every single day. But through my struggles, I still get up every morning. I still make myself look nice as much as possible every day. And I show up to 100% the fullest until it's time for me to move on to the next thing. So give your 100% regardless. If you got to move on to the next, move on to the next, however it may be. Don't let anybody persuade you or judge you. And on top of that, that makes me think also don't go telling people your plans like literally literally if that's the best advice i can give is that do not tell people what you plan to do don't just do not that message is for god you tell god what it is you want and god will provide what you need everyone else is just gonna be naysayers they're gonna give you doubt they're gonna instill fear and it might not even be in a place of them trying to be negative it could be absolutely them caring about you and wanting the best for you but honestly the only person the only thing that knows what's best for you is God is God and I'm sorry if you know this is a, this is a religious talk like if you're not devoted to Jesus, if you don't believe, it's going to be a struggle. I'm sorry. It is. It absolutely is. <laughs> I've been through depression. I've been suicidal. And nothing could have got out of me out of any of that without God. Absolutely. So... If this message resonates with you, um, if you like to hear more, you know, positive, inspirational, motivational speaking, you know, please like, comment, subscribe. You know, I, I'm i here just to motivate others, you know, because we're, we've all been through ups and downs. We've all been through struggles. And this is a person who is tired, hungry, and stressed and i still show up every single day and i reap the rewards i reap the rewards in so many capacities that i can't even explain so i'm truly blessed besides all of the other things i am truly blessed and i pray for you and many blessings to come to you so i'll see you next time